a custom thumbnail. It's a super easy way to get more views on YouTube. However, there's some fancy buttons you gotta push, and in this video, I'm gonna take you through the process. If you've already got YouTube custom thumbnails enabled, check out the video in the YouTube card or in the description below. It's based on the science of creating a thumbnail that drives more clicks. I'm also gonna address some of the problems that lots of YouTubers have, and it's all around the file size, and if you don't get it right, rejected. 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 Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson, helping you stake your claim, amplify your message, and inspire action. The very thing that's needed for success. Like inspiring people to click the subscribe button. Or inspiring people to share your content or video. Inspire action and you'll win. Let's talk about thumbnails. If you're having problems enabling YouTube custom thumbnails, then stick with me. I'm going to share with you a number of factors that may be causing you problems. File size is something that a lot of YouTubers are struggling with. Uh, first off, you've got to enable custom thumbnails. It's just not there because you've got a channel. You've got to click some buttons. So let me take you through the process. You can see right now I'm uploading a video and I've got my title. I've got the description box or some information there. Check out the button, custom thumbnails. Again, that just doesn't show up. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and click out of this and I'm gonna share with you what you need to do to ensure that custom thumbnails is enabled so you have the option. Then after we do that, I'm gonna talk about file size. This is what I wanna share with you right here. Do you see this? Max file size, right? Suggested image size is 1280 by 720 and YouTube supports image formats that include JPEG, GIF, BMP, and PNG. However, if you create a, a file that's a PNG, there's a good chance it's gonna be too, too big. Again, it says maximum file size is two megabytes. And let's take a look here. So these are uh, some of my thumbnails. Okay, you can see all these great thumbnails that I've created. And I want to draw your attention right here. Do you see it says call to action video? And then it says dot JPEG. Well, JPEG is a type of a file. And you'll notice that most of my um, uh, image thumbnails are JPEG. This is a JPEG. And notice the size, JPEG 563. Okay. This is also a JPEG, and the fi file size is 601 kilobytes. Remember, the, the largest we can have, according to YouTube, is 2 megabytes. Now, look at this. This looks about the same, but notice, <clears throat> excuse me, the file size is a PNG. The file type, rather, is PNG, and the file size is 2.7 megabytes. If I try to upload that as a custom thumbnail, YouTube's going to reject it. So it's really important that you understand you want to um, create files that are uh, based on JPEG when you upload a custom thumbnail. That's a JPEG. It's less than two. That's a JPEG. That's a JPEG, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this upload. And I just wanted to really share with you the importance of creating images that are JPEG, that are less than two megabytes. Now, before you can even add a custom thumbnail, you've got to verify your channel. I want to bring you to the dashboard now, and basically notice at the very top, under my channel name, Brian G. Johnson TV, it says YouTube Partner. That just symbolizes I've got a higher level account. And if you come in here and you click on Channel, Notice everything is in order, okay? I've got monetization enabled. I've got the ability to upload longer videos. That's been enabled. I've got external an annotations. That's enabled. Uh, 
paid content. And I haven't turned on paid content because I'm not interested in monetizing my videos through YouTube AdSense. In future videos, I'll talk about monetizing videos. But for right now, what I want to let you know is that you really want to go through and enable, here we go, custom thumbnails. And when you come to this page, when you click on channel, you basically are going to see these kind of boxes as well, or you'll have uh, different buttons and things that you can push to enable certain functionality of your account. The first thing you need to do is you need to verify your account. And when you come to this page, it'll say verify your account. And you're going to want to go through the, those steps. Ultimately, it's pretty easy. If you've got a cell phone or if you've got a website, you can basically upload a file or you can have YouTube call you on a cell phone and they will give you a code and you add that code into your YouTube dashboard and at that point your account is verified and then you can get things like custom thumbnails. So just click on this channel page and enable as much as you can because uh, there are different account levels and you want to have the highest account level because it will give you give you more tools and options available to you as you move forward. Now there's a few other things I want to mention. I've got some videos on creating thumbnails and understanding how to create beautiful thumbnails that grab attention. I'm going to link to that right now in the YouTube card. I hope you found this simple tutorial helpful. I'll see you on a future video. I'd love to get your feedback on thumbnails. What are some of the things that you're doing? How are you making your thumbnails? Leave me a comment below. We've got some really smart people uh, that are subscribed to Brian G. Johnson TV. You guys do such a great job. Would love to get your feedback on enabling thumbnails and what kind of thumbnails you're creating. I'll see you on the next video. Take care and have an awesome day. Poof! Pixie dust. Leave me a comment below and I'll see you next time. Ryan G. Johnson!